Hey, what's going on guys? Josh from Trillville, and in front of you, we have the brand new Nitto Recon Grappler All-Terrain. Right off the bat, guys, the first thing I notice about this Recon Grappler is the fact that it has some similarities, or has some similarities to, well, the Toyo RT. And no surprise, I think the two companies are intertwined in some way or another, but they did this tread pattern on here to really help reduce the road noise, especially at highway speeds. You can see that it does have these variable uh, sized tread grooves in here. You have the big grooves to really help evacuate some of that mud and sand and some of those loose debris items. But then you do have these smaller channels in between these other center treads on here to help reduce that road noise. Of course, the closer the tread lugs are compacted together, the quieter the tire is going to be. But they still left plenty of room in these bigger channel voids here to help really with that off-road aggressiveness. So if you're hitting the trail, if you're the type of person that is an overlander, off-roader, you need a very versatile tire, you need something that's gonna work really great on the road, but still need that off-road traction, this tire looks like it's really gonna be able to handle all of those purposes. And it's still considered an all-terrain. Now, if you've seen some of our previous videos, we talk about the differences between all-terrains and hybrid tires. Hybrid tires will have even more channel grooves, bigger channel grooves they'll have bigger shoulder lugs they'll be more for that about 50 50 on-road and off-road traction and performance they'll still give you reputable on-road performance handling quiet braking performance cornering acceleration all of those traction necessities that you need on the road but also really aggressive off-road traction tread pattern as well whereas an all-terrain is really going to give you a little bit more on-road performance as far as the quietness the tread longevity in fact niddle rates the lt metric and also the flotation sizes as a 55,000 uh, warranty so it's still pretty respectable there if you are running your vehicle more on the road and all-terrain is really a great way to go and that's what Nitto did with their recon grapplers is they really wanted a great performing on-road truck tire but still something that can get you to those hard to get to locations when you're off-roading so if you're hunting if you're rock crawling if you're just on the trails in the northern parts of Wisconsin or anywhere in the country this tire is really going to be able to grab and grip at that terrain when you're off-road to get you to where you need to go uh, so the other thing is too is what's really nice about this is they still have these well-mannered shoulder lugs and when I say well-mannered I mean that they're pretty tightly packed together so you're still going to get that cornering handling but then you'll see that they have these basically what I like to call as cutting edges they really grab and grip at that terrain below to help get you through some of those tough situations. So another thing too with those alternating shoulder lugs on here is you really have that digging sort of style, scooping sort of style shoulder lug. So when you are in the muck or if you're aired down, you still have that traction, still maintaining that traction while off-roading. So I really like the design, what they did here. I, I like the fact that they kept it still aggressive enough to really handled those off-road low traction situations like the fact that they have these raised side biters on here and then getting into the tread design itself you can see here what's pretty common with a hybrid tire or an all-terrain tire some of the newer all-terrain tires is you do have a more compact pitched center tread design and with the niddle with the recon grappler what you'll see here is you do have variable depth sipes in here some larger than others you still have your regular sipes that are going in your shoulder lugs and then throughout your treads but then you have a little bit wider sipes in here that vary in depth too and what that's going to do is it's going to give you some extra tread rigidity it's called so when you're slamming on your brakes or if you're hard accelerating or cornering those those lugs aren't going to be folding over on you so they make these sipes stiffen they make them variable depth so they can stiffen the tread lugs but still give you that extra traction that the sipes do and still allows those treads to flex and really kind of grab that terrain that's below whether it's pavement gravel roads dirt whatever it may be so you're still getting all those sipes for all weather conditions so 
really a great overall tread pattern design on here that's going to give you great roadability, great handling on the road, and still give you a lot of aggressive traction while aired down off-road. Even without being aired down, this definitely looks like it's going to be a pretty aggressive uh, all-terrain design. So it's going to be that multi-purpose. You get one tire that's going to get you through the winter months, they're going to get you off-roading, and still offer you decent, respectable on-road manner. So really, looks like they nailed it with this one. We can't wait to get these mounted. We're going to show you guys, we're going to do a couple of other reviews, one of them being we want to compare this next to the Ridge Grappler and see how it compares to the Ridge Grappler as well, because that is one of our best-selling tires. So we can definitely see this Recon Grappler overtaking the Ridge Grappler in sales, but we'll see, we'll do some more tests testing with it, show you guys so you can really get a good in-depth comparison on these, which by the way guys, we don't quite have these on our website just yet, but we are working on getting them uploaded as we speak, so they'll be on our website soon. Maybe even by the time you watch this video, it's trailbuiltoffroad.com. But other than that, guys, we're looking forward to doing some more tests on this Recon Grappler, showing you guys. But this is just a quick overview of what we think of it, some, some of our observations on this. So let us know what you guys think of the new Recon Grappler in the comments below. Or even if you guys have any questions on the Recon Grappler, just let us know in the comments below. Other than that, guys, we definitely appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trailbuild, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.